Jesus' story doesn't end at Easter. His ascension to heaven is not the final chapter. Jesus is coming again. Yeah. This is Cell Life Church TV. We invite you to join the conversation with pastors Brian and Kelly as they discuss an encouraging topic that is relevant to life today. Hello. Hi Thank there. you for joining us once again in the Cell Life Church studio. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. This way you won't miss any of the videos that we produce or our other encouraging posts helping you to be the church in your everyday life. Today we wrap up our series, Jesus Is, with Jesus Is Coming Again. Now last week as we celebrated Easter and reflected on Jesus as our Savior, we learned that Easter was necessary because of the sacrifice Jesus made on the cross so that we could be saved. We read about Jesus' resurrection from the grave and how he defeated death so that we could spend eternity with God in heaven. The story does not stop there. <laughs> the story continues with you and with me. Jesus is God's plan to save mankind. You and I are the messengers sent to tell people about his wonderful plan. Today, there's war, murder, sickness, and all kinds of evil. We are God's ambassadors to bring this message of hope. We have redemption and Jesus. He is our blessed hope. Yes. He is coming again. Amen. 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 During Jesus' ministry on earth, he healed hundreds, if not thousands. He also taught in the synagogues and mentored his disciples. In one of his teachings, when speaking to his disciples, he spoke about coming again to earth. He described what his return would look like. We read this in Matthew 24, verses 27 through 31. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there will be vultures will gather. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then all the peoples of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. Jesus tells us that when he returns again, he will come in the clouds and every person on earth will be able to see him. That's so cool. Jesus will gather his elect, those who have said yes to him and made him their Lord and Savior. Mm. As Christians, we can look forward to this day. Yes. We can know that this current world is not our home. We're simply passing through on a mission to share the good news of Jesus Christ. We have hope that this life is not the end. Mm but just a snapshot in time yeah. that will determine where we spend eternity. Between now and then, we have a message to share. Mm -hmm. We are instructed to live lives that honor the Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 3, 11 and 13 says, Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives. As you look forward to the day of God and speed its coming, that day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire and the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with this, with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. Mm. As we re prepare for Jesus to return <clears throat> and a new heaven and a new earth, we must live lives that are holy, upright and Christ-like. In this, people will see that our message matches our actions. Amen. When we tell others that Jesus is loving, merciful, and forgiving, and we, who call ourselves Christian, exemplify those characteristics, mm -hmm. others will be drawn to the saving grace of Jesus. Yes. 
Only by God's grace can we live godly lives and turn from fleshly desires and worldly passions, as described in the book of Titus. Titus 2, 11 through 14 says, For the grace of God has appeared that, other, that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in, the, in this present age. While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. Mm. When we live a life that is godly and honoring to the Lord, it will help our testimony as we minister to others. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> well, and until Christ's return, we have been given a mission. Yeah. And this mission clearly states the purpose of every Christian and was entrusted to us by Jesus himself. We read this charge to his followers in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Amen. This is a huge mission mm -hmm. and enormous responsibility and impossible to accomplish alone. That is why Jesus sent his Holy Spirit, which is described in Acts chapter 2. With the authority of Jesus and the boldness and wisdom of the Holy Spirit, Christians can spread the gospel to every nation and tribe. Yes. It is easy to look to those in leadership as the people who are responsible for fulfilling this mission. It is easy to think that is the job of the pastor. Or to think it is up to the evangelist or those who have radical testimonies. That just simply is not true. Jesus has called every Christian to preach the good news. That's right. No one is sidelined. No one is eliminated. And everyone is expected to participate. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, if someone is struggling with what their purpose is in life, it is right here in Matthew 28. God created us for the purpose of having a relationship with him and telling others about his son. That's right. He has equipped us to do so through his word and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. He's not given us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. We're to make the most of every opportunity by demonstrating a Christ-like demeanor and sharing hope. Amen. In a hopeless world, you and I hold the keys to hope. We have the answer to famine, war, and evil. That's right. I think of Cell Life Church in Malawi, which is ministering to their community that is suffering the effects of great starvation after severe flooding swept away crops, homes, and livestock. In Pakistan, Cell Life Church is bringing food and Bibles to enslaved Christians of brick kiln factories. The school of Cell Life Church Zambia is bursting at the seams with hundreds of children hearing the word of God and receiving quality education in a Christian environment. The medical clinics that Cell Life Church Kenya is conducting to combat malaria, treat jiggers, and administer much needed medication to those in rural areas. These cell sites are the hands and feet of Jesus. Yes. They are bringing hope by ministering to the needs of their communities through food, medicine, and hygiene. Amen. They're sharing the love of Jesus by their actions, allowing them to share the good news of Jesus Christ. He is our hope. Yes, amen. Amen. As we work to accomplish our mission, we look to Jesus' return. We cannot comprehend the when or the how. But we can hold on to the promise that he will return. Amen. Jesus spoke about his return in the book of Matthew, 
chapter 24, 36 through 42. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in a field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill, one will be taken and the other left. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. As we wait in hopeful expectation of this day, we do our best to imitate the love of Jesus. In turn, we show others God's love for them. We may not know the time or day of Jesus' return, but we do know we have a purpose and a mission to fulfill. Jesus said that he does not know the day that he will be sent to earth to take his followers to heaven. But he assures us there will be signs mm -hmm. and life will be going on as usual. Mm -hmm. People will be going about their daily business at work, at school, at home, on vacation, in hospitals, wherever they find themselves. Yes. As Christians, we must remain vigilant in fulfilling our mission and continue to help those in need. Mm -hmm. We must continue to show the love of Jesus through acts of service and telling of his salvation story. Yes. For we do not know when the trumpet will sound. Amen. 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 Friend, Jesus is coming again. Yes. The trumpet will sound and we will join him in the clouds for what he has promised he will do. Jesus is coming again. Amen. We have a job to do. We must go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. We must minister to our friends, neighbors, co-workers, and schoolmates. You hold the answer to this lost and dying world. Yeah. Our hope is in Jesus. Our hope is in redemption and forgiveness of sins. Mm -hmm. Our hope is in knowing that one day he will return again. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for yes, taking the you. time today to be with us. We do look forward to hearing your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So please be sure to share this video with your family and your friends. Until next time, mm -hmm. be encouraged in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. <laughs>